We're gonna begin down on the mat. To get there, make sure both knees are bent, roll to your side. This position helps protect your lower back in the transition. Once you get to your shoulder, roll all the way to your back, plant both feet. So your knees are bent, hands are by your side. And I want you to envision a balloon being between your lower back and the floor. And then adjust your pelvic position so you burst that balloon. That's one way, one visual to help you find imprinted pelvis. Imprinted pelvis is a really important uh, body position to find when doing Pilates ab exercises because it helps protect your lower back. So you'll know you're an imprinted pelvis if there's no space between your lower back and the floor. So check in with that. Make sure you feel comfortable in this position. You might even want to release imprinted pelvis and then find it again just to experiment with it a bit. And then once you've done that, we're going to get started right away with an exercise called the single leg stretch. So pull both knees into your chest. As you're doing that, maintain imprinted pelvis. In fact, that's going to be your number one goal here throughout all of these exercises. Um, it's going to be, can I maintain imprinted pelvis while you're moving your arms and legs in different directions? So that's the question to ask yourself. For the single leg stretch, bring your hands on your right knee. Extend your left leg straight up. You can point your toe or flex your toe. If you need a little knee bend here, that's just fine. On your next exhale, pull your knee into your chest. As you do that, belly button pulls down. Inhale, switch. Right leg goes up, left knee comes in. Exhale, pull. On your next inhale, switch. Exhale, gentle pull of your knee towards your chest. Inhale, switch. Exhale, belly button to your spine. Keep moving like this. If you ever need to take a break, you're welcome to do that, either by pulling both knees into your chest or by dropping your feet to the ground. Switch. Now, as you're doing this, if you notice your shoulders creeping up to your ears, do your best to pull them down towards your hips instead. That's going to help you engage your abdominal muscles in the proper way. One final set. Big exhale to pull. Inhale, switch. Exhale, belly button to your spine. And then grab behind your thighs. Knees pull in. You'll notice that I'm, I'm pulling mine out towards my shoulders. Sometimes that can feel better than this position, a little tighter. Another option is to drop your feet wide, tent your knees in. So whatever, whatever position you've found, take a few moments to breathe deeply. The next exercise we're going to do is called the single leg tabletop position. So when you're ready for it, meet me in this position. Your knees are untented. Think of that balloon between your lower back and the floor. Adjust your pelvic position to burst that balloon. Bring your arms out, maybe at about a 45 degree angle here, so you give yourself a little extra support with your arms. And pull your right knee into your chest, flex your right toes. Now to find the single leg um, tabletop position, you're going to start bringing this leg out further away from your chest. One day, someday, it's at a 90 degree angle, meaning your knee is about over your hip and your shin is about a 90 degree angle, so parallel with the ground, in other words. So your goal as you're holding in this position is to stay in imprinted pelvis. So you may notice that as your leg goes out, your belly button wants to pop and your lower back wants to pop. Your number one goal is to not let that happen. So if you are noticing a pop, bring your knee back a little bit. To take a break, pull your knee into your chest like this. One more breath if you can. And then let's all meet in this position with your knee pulling towards um, your chest or even your right shoulder. Switch sides. Right foot comes down to the ground. Arms are out a little bit away from your midline for a little extra support. In printed pelvis. Pull your left knee into your chest. Flex your toes. And then when you're ready for it, start to bring your left leg out, moving towards a 90-degree angle with your left knee. 
all the while trying to stabilize here. Pilates' ab work comes down to one word, stabilization. So that means whatever crazy thing we're doing with our arms and our legs, our number one goal is always to try to keep our pelvis and our torso still while we do those um, holds or movements. And that's where the really deep core work comes in. Remember, if you need to take a break, just pull your knee in towards your chest or towards your left shoulder. If it's possible for you to hang on for one more long, slow breath, do that. And then at the bottom of your exhale, pull in, get a nice release. Deep breath. Good job. Looking good, Camila. Drop both feet down. And find that tented position for a moment to allow your lower back to release. To prepare for the next exercise, find imprinted pelvis again. So untent your knees. Burst the balloon between your lower back and the floor. Pull both knees into your chest. Bring your heels together. Notice how my knees are going out towards my shoulders. Grab behind your thighs. This is called the double leg stretch. On your next inhale, extend your legs straight up. Biceps go by your ears. Exhale, pull in, hands behind your thighs. Inhale, extend. You can flex your toes or point your toes up to you. And bend, come in. Inhale. On your exhale, belly button to your spine. Two more if you can. Inhale up. Exhale in. One more time. Good. Stay like this or tent in for a moment. We have two exercises left. Next one is the double straight leg stretch. So you've probably guessed it already. We're going to start by finding imprinted pelvis. Do that now. Both knees come in. Extend your right leg up. Now, if you need a little knee bend here, that's just fine. We're lengthening as much as possible. So one day, someday, you have a straight leg. But um, what we're going for here is just a nice pull behind your knee. Then grab behind your thigh. Extend your left leg out just a little bit. Inhale to prep. Exhale, pull your right leg in. Inhale, switch. Exhale, pull. Inhale, switch. Exhale, belly button to your spine. So we have a really small, relatively slow movement. You're lengthening your legs, but not forcing yourself to have straight legs if that doesn't feel OK. So a little knee bend is just fine. Take a break whenever you need it. We've got two more sets, if you can. Belly button's constantly pulling away from your thighs. Lower back is grounded. So once again, you're stabilizing in imprinted pelvis. Working your abs while you stretch your hamstrings and calves. Nice. Knees come in or find the tented position, whatever feels best. Deep breath. So we just did the single straight leg stretch. Our final exercise today is going to be the double straight leg stretch. So for this one, once again, bring your arms out to about a 45 degree angle. Untent your knees. Find imprinted pelvis so you're bursting the balloon between your lower back and the floor. Pull your knees into your chest. Extend your legs straight up. Your heels are together. You can decide if you want your toes pointed or flexed. On your next inhale, drop your feet literally like two inches, so tiny movement. Exhale, pull up to a starting, your starting position. Inhale, drop down. Don't let your lower back pop up. Exhale, pull. If you need to take a break, do that. Otherwise, we've got three more. Slow, small movements. Last two. Stabilizing an imprinted pelvis. Final one. Use your breath to help you. Inhale down. Exhale up. Awesome. Bend your knees. Drop your feet down. Tense your knees in. 
Really nice job with that one. Take a deep breath. And then from this position, keep your knees bent, roll to your side. Gently push yourself up. Really nice job with those Pilates ab exercises. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, you might just want to wipe your feet off because people don't like to see dirty feet, I'm learning. Let's start that one over. Shake it out. <laughs> la, 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 la. Here we go, here we go. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you found this content helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Also, if you're wondering how to become healthier, I've created a free masterclass for you that is truly your ultimate wellness guide. It's called Fit and Fabulous for Life. Seven secrets that'll help you find your healthy living sweet spot. If you're intrigued, you should see a link to it on your screen now. You'll also find a link to it in the description box of this video. Thanks again for tuning into this video, and I hope you'll consider checking out my free Fit and Fab Masterclass.